welcome you all uh, to the Tosca previous interview question and answer session. In this class, we will discuss about uh, questions 1 to 10. So I have done a lot of research and uh, I am a trainer who has been trained for past seven plus years in the Tosca. So based on my knowledge, I have collected all the interview questions and I am doing this series. So now the first question, let us go to the first question. What is the first question? The first question is, what is Tosca? So our plan is to start with basics. Then we will go to the advanced one slowly, guys. Okay. First one, what is Tosca? Tosca is a model-based testing case. Unlike, we have mainly two bases or two types of automation. One is script-based and the second one is model-based. Okay. Tosca is a model-based automation tool which is used to automate we can automate a web application, SAP, mobile, API, desktop, and it can automate performance testing and so on. That too, without writing any single piece of code. To be very precise, we can call it as zero code automation. So why the Tosca is very famous nowadays? Why? Because due to its model-based approach, we won't write scripts. We will have the model-based. If in interview, if somebody is asking you, what is Tosca? You just explain, Tosca is a zero coding automation tool and it works on model-based test. Okay. Next question. How does Tosca different from other testing automation? So let us divide this into different, different. For example, let us compare Tosca with other tools, which is mostly available in the market. Okay, so I have listed all the tools on this column. First one is Tosca, next one is Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright. So these are the major tools which are available in the market. Okay, so first of all, type what type of tool it is. The Tosca is a paid tool. This so using Tosca, you can automate all the application. So that's why you need to pay some and you need to get the advantage of it. And next one, remaining all Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright are the open sources. And coming to the skills, it is a codeless automation tool. Guys. So that's why it is very famous. And for Selenium, we need to use Java, Python, and C Sharp. For Cypress, we need to use JavaScript or TypeScript. For Playwright, we need to use JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java, and C Sharp. Any language you can use it. Okay, next one, but writing the code is way difficult. Okay, coming to the scope, using Tosca, you can automate all kinds of web application, SAP, Salesforce, mobile, API, Pega, AWS, but you won't be able to do all the things in other Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright. So that's why in the market, the Tosca opportunities are very, very good. Next one is strength. So enterprises features, we'll have enterprises features and we'll have flexible and multi-browser, fast and auto wait and cross-browser testing we can do and stable, okay? So generally whatever the features which are available, the Tosca will be able to do it. You can do all this application which you cannot do this using all other tools. So that's why the Tosca is famous and it is very good in the market. Now, the third question, explain the concept of model-based testing. I told you, right, Tosca is a model-based testing. So now, instead of using script for Tosca or script, script for test automation, present is Tosca appeals a model-based testing approach. Means, rather writing the script, you can build it as a model test and create a model for the application under test. Okay. Now, for example, let us see a pictorial representation. Okay. See, in the model base, first let us go to the script based. In the script base, we will write a lot of code here. See, we will write a lot of code here. Whereas in model based, everything will be into a box or a model. Okay. Nowadays, when a, once A comes into the picture, who is writing the code? Right? So everyone is looking for this model based. So that's why what the question is, explain the concept of model based. If in the interview, if they have asked, 
tell them instead of using a scripting for test automation, Tosca appeals a model basic testing okay, approach and create a model under test. Tell them we have two types of tools. One is script based and model based where you will put everything in a box. Okay. Next question. What are the major components in Tosca? I have seen and I have taken a lot of interviews. This is the common question for everybody. Okay. What are the major components? We have a lot of components in that these four are very important. First one is Tosca Commander. It is an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. How you have Eclipse and other tools, same similarly, Tosca is an IDE. Use it to create a project and automate the test case. Okay, next one, Tosca XCAN. What is XCAN? If you want to scan, see here you won't write the code, right? You will capture by using XCAN. So it is used to scan any application or capture the web page. Okay, next one, Tosca Execute. It is used to execute the test cases from the Tosca command. Okay, so we will use for the execution. The name itself we have executed this. So we can execute the respect to test cases. Next, test repository. For example, you are building the code or you are storing the data. You need to store it someplace, right? So that place we will call it as a repository. Use it to save all the workspaces. To save the, save the workspaces, we will use this components in Tosca. Okay. Now, the next question, a very, very important question. So what are the sections which are available in Tosca? So we have majorly requirement section, test planning section, module section, test case section, PCAD, execution, issues, reporting, and data integrity. So these are the sections which are available in Tosca. Means using Tosca, you can create your requirements in the same tool. You can plan your testing, and you can create the module. You can create the test cases. PCD and execution. Why we have highlighted these three things, four things? Four things are very, very important. Majorly, we will use these four. If you learn these four, most of your work will be done. Okay. Next. What is the current? What is the current version of Tosca you are using in your project? And what is the latest version you are using in your project? Current version and the latest version. Definitely, once you approach to any interview, definitely they will ask what version you have used. If somebody is asked you, what is the current version of Tosca? We have used 16.0 and we have patch 5. Okay, so what is this patch, guys? Generally, in one go, the Tosca will re release different, different versions. But if they have any issues, they will use patch 1, patch 2, patch 3, patch 4, and patch 5. Okay, next one, latest version. Definitely, right? If they are asking current version, they will definitely ask the latest version. So 2025.1 and patch one. Okay, now there is a note point. Yes. What is a note point? Till August 2025, it is 2025.1. In future, it may change. Please cross check it. Yes. Okay, so if somebody is asking in the interview, what is the current version of Tosca? It's 16.0. And what is the latest version? It's 2025.1. Okay, next one. What is the full form of TOSCA? Okay, generally, we don't have any full form. Guys. Okay, so according to the Tricentis, we don't have any full form for Tosca. But in the market, we will call it as topology orchestration specification for cloud application. This is the wrong definition. But if, if the interviewer is learned only topology and orchestration, so that's why you need to tell both the answers. So that's why I have framed the question like this. Okay, next one. On what? On the back end, which framework does the Tosca is built with? Okay, the Tosca is built with .NET framework. Okay, so on the front end, there is no code, but on the back end, it has developed using .NET frame. Okay, so don't confuse between whether you have written the code and how the Tosca has built on the back end. When you are installing, you can clearly see the Tosca is 
will auto install the .NET framework. Okay. The next one on the back end, which programming language is used to build the DOS? Okay. So it is C sharp. So it will use C sharp programming language in order to build the respective test cases or not test cases, the tool. Okay. Next one. What are the types of licenses which are available in DOS? Okay. So coming to the licenses, we have majorly three types of licenses. First one is cloud host licensing server. Okay. And second one is self host licensing server and license from the local machine. Okay. So in the cloud host licensing server, the username and password will be there. Okay. So initially they have started with license from the local machine. Okay. So after what they used to do, they used to give some text file. We need to upload in that local machine and the license will be auto configured. Later, they have migrated to self host license server where they used to give address and port. How we used to have the Airtel recharge cards, right? So similar to that, we used to have. Next one, cloud host license server, it is used for username and password. So directly, how you are logging to the Gmail, you need to go and use this username and password. Okay, so this is all about this video and thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next video. Guys. Okay, so we will come up with the question. All the question and answers we will discuss in the upcoming classes. Like we will have question number 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. Whatever the previously asked question in the MNC companies, I have done all these things in one place and I'm doing this series of videos. Okay. Thank you so much again. And if you really want to learn a real type concepts, so you can contact these numbers for further discussions. Thank you so much for joining.